right about you. You are trouble, but you might just be the right sort of trouble we need. The mercenaries aren't quick to mobilize, so you have time to do what you need. Or are you ready to finalize the defense plans? That's good to hear. Fill me in on the details when you're ready to finalize our battle plans. You sure? Once we're done with that, there may not be any time left before the mercenaries attack. All right, then we got a lot to do. Since you are here to bolster Kunda's defense, I will hurry to the mercenary camp and delay their assault however I can. I imagine that the mercenaries have got two goals in this whole thing. Kill me and kill the administrator. The rest of the settlers won't have courage to resist if they succeed. The administrator's locked up in her office tight which means that the mercs have to go through us and Kunza's defenses. It isn't gonna be easy. I suspect we're gonna have to fight on the inside. They've got three entrances they're gonna try and break in. Here's the front door, the security door on the side, and the garage door in back. We got three squads of militia. We can assign people to the front, back, or inside. Backside has to guard two entrances. The front will have to fight more people, and the inside will have to deal with any that break through. So... Where do you think the first squad should be deployed? First squad is most experienced. The only squad that could go blaster to blaster against the mercs. Second squad has a lot of passion, but no experience. Third squad is new and not trained too well, and they may break in combat. They need a good leader to make them effective. So, where do you think the first squad should be deployed? The battles that had the least dying were always led by Jedi. I'm gonna go with what you think. Where do you want the second squad? Alright, where do you want the third squad, the new recruits? Fine by me. The last question is, where do you want to go? Either the front or the back. I'll take whichever one you don't. That way both sides have leadership. That's what I was thinking too. The main group of mercenaries will be coming through there. Probably be good to put our best soldier there. Once the fighting starts, you gotta stay in your area. We both have to guard our half of the battlefield. Come over to me and the mercs will just charge straight into Kunda. Thanks to you, they're gonna have a tougher job. That's about it. Now we just need to dig in and wait for the mercs to come. Well, I'll tell them what's there to do. I'm not much for words. All right, I'll assemble the men. I hope you can speak good. You're much better with words than me. I think it'll really help. Let's get ready for the mercenaries. If we fall here, all of Dan Twin falls with us. Tell me what you see, soldier. They're mobilizing the militia. Looks like a lot of activity down there. They've been warned. It won't be of any use. The plan doesn't change. Captains, prepare your men. Their leader, Administrator Tarina, must not survive the battle. Everything else is secondary to that objective.
Soldiers, fall back inside. So you are the Jedi. I take it you are responsible for the surprises we've had during this battle. Stand aside. Our quarrel is with a distinguished administrator. This isn't your problem. She's inconvenient and doesn't know the chain of command. She will pay for that. You have no idea who you're talking to. I was going to spare your worthless life. I see I was in error. I was trained at Malak's Academy. Your tricks won't work on me. You're just another dead Jedi to me. I didn't sign on for this cold-blooded slaughter, Azkul. I was wondering when you would betray me, Dopak. I'll send your final wages to your children, along with a detonator. Sorry I was held up, but it looks like I've arrived in time to pull you out of your predicament. Kill them all. Be sure that Dontuin will not forget how the Jedi protected us from this place. We are a humble community, and this conflict has greatly diminished our resources. I hope this reward will be sufficient. I am humbled by your generosity. I will put this to good use. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much work to do. Dontuin will be slow to rebuild, but I am confident now that we will one day achieve prosperity. Kunda is safe in no small part due to you.
I feel certain that the Administrator wouldn't have made it without your assistance. I may have misjudged you. In any case, I am free to talk about whatever you wish. There are a few of us left, but I do not even know if the others still live. We may be the last. We have been forced to divide our forces and retreat to places which will be difficult for our enemies to detect and attack. We have chosen to hide our presences from each other, so that the discovery of one will not endanger the others. We cannot, and we have resolved not to until we have found where the Sith are striking from. But even as our numbers thin, there is still no trace of them. We had hoped to outmaneuver them. By letting them believe themselves victorious, we thought they would become bold and step from the shadows. Then, all of us who remained vowed to meet here on Dantooine. From here, we can plan a course of action and carry the battle to them. But so far, they remain in hiding, and Jedi continue to vanish and die. You have more questions for me? We are at war, but it is unlike any war we have fought before. We have yet to even meet our attackers in battle. Somehow, our enemy is targeting us through the Force, striking, then retreating to the shadows. The gathering of any Jedi seems to attract them like a beacon. So it was necessary to divide our forces and conceal ourselves for a time until we could learn more of this threat. Great tragedies... Old battlegrounds. Places of suffering all leave wounds on the galaxy and in the Force. In such places, the deaths of so many echo. So much so that it is difficult to center oneself. By coming here, those echoes serve to mask my presence, allowing me to investigate the ruins and try to find some clues as to who our attackers are. The Miraluka world of Qatar taught us a terrible lesson. Many Jedi gathered there in an attempt to use the Force to find the location of the enemy. Now the planet is no more. Master Zar, Master Dorak, and many more perished there, and we do not know why or how. But all life on the planet ceased to exist. I was not on Qatar when it was destroyed, but now that it is dead, it has left its echo like Dantooine. It was after Qatar that the few of us left realized that wherever we gathered, we were placing others in danger, not just Jedi. You have more questions for me? We were not in hiding, despite what you believe. This threat is striking through the Force. There's a reason that we cannot detect it. It is somehow masking its presence from us. I do not know. There are techniques in the Force that hide one's presence and thoughts from other Force users. But I do not believe that such techniques alone would be capable of hiding the enemies we face. It does not seem possible. You have more questions for me? Because you defied the Council and followed Revan to war. And from that war came another. Do you know how many worlds were destroyed in those wars? Dantooine, Telos, Sirocco? Do you see now why we counseled caution instead of action? You were the only one to come back and face judgment. But that was because you had lost your connection to the Force. Another casualty of war. No doubt you still blame us for your exile. I had hoped your isolation would give you time to reflect on what had happened, what you had done. But I see it is not. You have more questions for me? We did nothing to you. 
Accuse us if you will, but it will not change the truth. Cutting one off from the Force. Such punishments are reserved for only a few. Although it was within our power, we did not inflict such a loss upon you. Your loss was a casualty of war, no more. Perhaps that is a question you should ask yourself. It is not something I could help you with, even if I wanted to. Perhaps it is Dantooine, but I do not feel such from you. I feel nothing but what I felt in the Council Judgment Chamber on Coruscant so long ago. Still, you and your... connections were often a subject of debate in the Council. It is possible that returning to known space, journeying with others, has caused the Force to stir within you again. You have more questions for me? You have seen the end of your trial. Perhaps you would like to explain how you came to this knowledge. That was intended only for the Jedi Council. If what remains of the Council chooses to tell you, then I will abide by their decision and its consequences. There is little I can tell you. Master Kavar felt something had happened to you in the war, but all he had was suspicions, not truths. And Kavar was too close to you in any event. He, too, felt the call of war and took to battle more than a Jedi should. His speculations would not help you now, but enough of this. It is knowledge for the Council alone until they choose to reveal it. You have more questions for me? Force bonds? Yes. It is the bond that grows between master and student. Are you saying you have bonded with another? Such bonds normally grant strength to both, but not to such a degree. Are you certain? Perhaps it is merely what you believe. Still, your ability to form such connections, to influence others, was always a subject of discussion, even when you were a student here. Perhaps it is a punishment of a sort. But a bond that ties two lives together, such bonds do not seem natural to me. And with your loss of connection to the Force, it seems such a connection would be impossible. Perhaps it is Dantooine, but I do not feel such from you. I feel nothing but what I felt in the Council Judgment Chamber on Coruscant so long ago. Still, you and your... connections were often a subject of debate in the Council. It is possible that returning to known space, journeying with others, has caused the Force to stir within you again. You have more questions for me? Have they? I've seen no evidence of them upon Dantooine. Only murderers and raiders. Why would they attack you? You are no Jedi. You cannot feel the Force. For some reason, I believe you. Still, I am curious as to how they would know to find you. Your trial was not public knowledge. Regardless, these Sith have struck, and you survived. This is more knowledge than I had before. And that means the Jedi may gather. If you can find others, or find some trace of the Sith threat, then we shall gather here on Dentween. And from there we may decide what can be done. You have more questions for me? I suppose there is something I should show you. It will keep you alive long enough to prove useful. I'm only going to demonstrate this once. This is the Sheen form, a defensive stance that's good when you're outnumbered, which is most of the time. This form will increase your ability to deflect blaster fire, and it increases the odds of dealing critical strikes against your attackers. <laughs> I don't know how you learned that so quickly. Still, your form is sloppy. 
Keep practicing to tighten it up and you'll be fine. They say the Jedi saved us from the mercenaries. I guess we should stop blaming them for the troubles on Dantooine. I'll be glad to return to my farm and retire my blaster. I saw you fighting the mercenaries. Just amazing. I wish I were a Jedi too. I heard what you did for us. Thank you. It was pretty brave of you to stand up to Azkul like that. Your resolve made me finally take action against him. I'm happy to hear that. I really am. Thanks again, and good luck to you. Thanks for your help with the mercenaries. I hope someday I'll be able to return the favor. Saron was right about the mercenaries all along. I guess my ego clouded my judgment as to what's best for Kunda. That was some intense fighting. I'm glad we both made it through. And the mercenaries didn't. Charanana Gundoso, Remina Kelrak to Kurukatada, Ferator Padano, Ringatel Camarada, Telefibu Nubu de Bitarana, Chenirada. of hostilities. soldiers that tore up Kunda. Now I have to fix everything you busted. I'll bet you weren't thinking of that. Is there? Must be hearing things, but for a moment. Diagnostic HK 
activated. Running checks through primary systems. Assessment. It appears I have suffered considerable damage and dismemberment. I can feel all the cracks in my motivators. And my central control cluster seems to have taken several repeated blaster shots at close range. How crude. Answer. I do not know, Master. It is curious that I was here. Although this place does seem familiar. Extrapolation. Perhaps someone was already in the process of rebuilding me. It may be I was needed for some task. Answer. If by OK, you mean the loss of almost all my existing assassination protocols, then no. I am not okay. Furthermore, I seem to have no discretionary control over my vocabulator, causing me to reveal my true function as an assassin droid of unrivaled sophistication. Answer. Oh, that is impossible, Master. If I were out to kill you, we would not be speaking. And regardless, I am a unique model. Why, to think that there would be other versions of me would be unacceptable. Statement. Master, I must inform you that your attempts at humor are wasted on a droid such as I. As I have expressed, I am unique. Resignation. Very well, Master. If you persist in your attempts at humor, I shall indulge you. Let me check the ship's records, and we will settle this matter once and for all. Conclusion. You speak the truth. This discovery is also causing me some degree of anger and humiliation. Mockery. Am I all right? Oh, yes, master. Why, I am fine. Statement. I mean, I've only just been reactivated, only to find that there are substandard duplicates of me running all over the galaxy, corroding my good name. But if they are in fact hunting you, then I look forward to the opportunity to meet these units and educate them in proper assassination protocols. Conclusion. So it seems I need you, for the time being. Recitation. Yes. As I said, I am an assassin droid. It is my primary function to burn holes through meat bags that you wish removed from the galaxy. Master, oh, how I hate that term. Answer, no, Master. <laughs> ah, I said it again. Answer, yes, Master. HK-47 is ready to serve. Oh.